Hey, I'm Daniel. For this conversation, I was able to speak with actress Abby Gale, who plays a supporting character named Grania in the new Welcome to Blumhouse film Blackest Night, which is now available to watch on Amazon Prime Video. The film is about a teenage girl named Shauna, who builds her self-esteem battling vampires over one summer in New Orleans as they prey on the disenfranchised people of New Orleans. So let's get right into the conversation with Abby Gale. Great to be chatting with you, Abby. You too. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Uh, I'd love to start with just asking, what made you want to join Blackest Night? Well, um, I'm actually from Louisiana, so I do a lot of local projects and stuff, normally like here or Atlanta. And this project came up and it happened to be also set in New Orleans because a lot of things are filmed in New Orleans and they're either set in you know, California, New York, all that. But this film was actually set in New Orleans and I love films like that. And it was a vampire film and I love vampire films. So I was super excited about it. Okay, so sorry, you said you were from New Orleans? I'm from Baton Rouge, which is like an hour and 20 from New Orleans. But ever since I was younger, I've always like went to New Orleans with my family or, you know, went there for a weekend. So I really love, I really love the city. Okay, so being in a film like this that incorporates incorporates so much of the history, what did that mean for you being in this film? Um, well, actually, a lot of um, in the film they touch on Hurricane Katrina, and uh, it happened when I was younger, but it impacted a lot of people in Louisiana, including my family. And I, I remember I was in school, and a lot of kids from New Orleans lost their houses from mm-hmm. Katrina. Um, and they were in class with us and they lost their houses. So that is really um, devastating. But also there's been a history of vampires in New Orleans. I don't know if it's true, but (laughs) that was really cool that we have a movie about vampires set in New Orleans. I think Interview with the Vampire set in New Orleans too, I think. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think largely in Louisiana. Yeah. But there's been a lot of theories about vampires in New Orleans, so I thought that was cool. Oh, interesting. And you would mention Hurricane Katrina, and I just, I thought it was very interesting how that was able to put its, like, kind of footprint into this film as well. So did, did you enjoy that aspect? I did. It touches more on the people that had it the worst, you know, because some people have flood insurance or they didn't lose their houses like they have, like, a more sturdy houses, but a lot of people lost houses. And um, I think this film touches lightly on that. And you get to see like from the other side, what happened to people and what they had to go through. I thought it was interesting how like the Ombro kind of stood for like the last part of New Orleans, like pre-Katrina. So I thought that was in- interesting symbolically. Yeah, it definitely is. Even over here, we didn't really get to see the impacts of of Katrina and I was okay. obviously a lot younger so I like how I think there's a tv show coming out too about Katrina so it's really nice to see what actually happened to those people so you know because I didn't really get to see that when I was younger okay now getting to the vampires I I enjoyed that uh your character is obsessed with vampires so do you share that interest in real life <laughs> I wouldn't say as much as Grania, but I really do like vampire movies a lot. Okay. Um, I haven't really studied a lot of vampire stuff, but I do like the New Orleans theories that there were vampires in New Orleans and stuff like that. And a bunch of movies, an Interview with the Vampire, uh, Fright Night, Twilight, Dark Shadows. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people, people always laugh at Twilight, but I like Twilight. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's a big part of the vampire lore, I feel like. I mean, yeah. they don't really sparkle, but, you know, it's it's, it's there. Right. Now, right. do you have a favorite uh, vampire movie? <sighs> I'm really bad at picking favorites. I don't even have a favorite color, but <laughs> I mean, I guess I really do like the historical setting of Interview with the Vampire. And it's got Brad Pitt in it, and he's an awesome vampire. Okay, fair enough. Now, did you do much much research for your role just within the, the vampire history? Um, not really. I think a lot of the vampire movies that I've watched 
gave me enough insight on how vampires are you know each movie has their different perspective on vampires you know like twilight's is totally different than interview with a vampire you know so i think i've watched enough to know a lot about vampires but i didn't go too deep into the researching vampires okay fair now you had mentioned fright night was did you do you mean the remake or the original I mean the remake. I do want to watch the original, but I love the remake with Colin Farrell. I just, I love Colin Farrell and he's also a really good vampire. You know, yeah. next to Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> the hierarchy of vampires, it's yeah. Pitt, Colin Farrell. <laughs> right, right. I'd be curious if you guys were able, like you and who play Shauna, uh, if you all were able to like make create chemistry outside of set and what, and what, was, what was that like? Yeah, well actually, we started filming <clears throat> before COVID was like a huge thing. And, um, you know, we got to spend a lot of time together on set and didn't have to worry about all these COVID precautions and all that. So we like played games on set and stuff and really got to know each other. But then we halted for about three months ish because of COVID. Um, but we stayed in touch. We group chatted and everything. And then when COVID happened again, we had to take a lot of precautions like masks and social distancing and all that. So we didn't really get to hang out as much, but I think we all really bonded on this film. I love all of them. They're really good people. Now your character is like the scholarly one. So I'm curious just for a real life scenario for you, like, would you, would you rather read about vampires or would you actually like want to go fight it if it was actually happening? Hmm. I think I would want, I think I'd want to go fight it. I'd want some action. I'd want to actually see one in real life, you know, if they're real, then I would want to see it with my own eyes, you know. Okay. So a bit different than Branya. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a bit different than Branya. A little, a little braver, I guess. <laughs> was, what, was <laughs> probably it cool? not. If I, if I was actually in a room with a vampire, I'd probably freak out. So yeah. talk, uh, in over my head, but you know. Yeah. Just where's the garlic when you need it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, was it cool for you just getting in on the kind of the horror action as like a scholarly character, but then you're actually able to join in on the fun for a couple of scenes? Yeah, um, I think Grania, you know, she thinks she has this perception in her mind of what a vampire is, you know, and I think her perception of a vampire is like, you know, an Edward Cullen but then when she actually joins in and sees, you know, an actual vampire, I think she's like, oh wait, this is not Edward Cullen. I don't want to be here, you know? <laughs> but okay. I, I, think, I think the whole experience for her is really enjoyable and yeah. Okay, was the film an enjoyable experience for you? Yes, yes, I, lo I loved it. And uh, to get to see those things in real life, like you watch a bunch of vampire movies and you get to see, you know vampires on screen and stuff but when you actually get to be on set and see like how they become those vampires and you know the the contacts that they put in their eyes and the nails it's just it's just so cool for sure yeah did, did, did you have a favorite scene to film yeah I don't know how much I could say about it but okay what I can say is Grania thinks she knows she thinks she knows everything about vampires but some things she's wrong about but she's so sure of herself but then she turns out to be you know okay wrong. but that was, it was a really cool like action scene to film uh did you get to spend any time with Keith David yes um I actually had I didn't get to have like a conversational scene with him but we were in the same room together and Keith David has one of the best voices I've ever heard. Yes. His voice is so amazing. Like, I wish I wish I could have a voice like that. <laughs> it's it's really it's really cool to work with him. You know, he's been in a lot, and he's someone to really look up to. So that was really cool. Awesome. Now, I, I'm always kind of like interested in like actor processes, just because when Aisha is acting in the other room with uh, the one vampire, and you're kind of left alone in the the greater room on the couch like what's what's your thought process when you're kind of left alone like 
like do you kind of get into the character's head of like what she's thinking during that scene yeah I think she's absolutely terrified you know uh, first of all she was scared to even be in there and now her friend has left her you know at least she wasn't alone and now she is alone and she doesn't know what's going on with her so you know what if she's in there and you know she could die or whatever and then I'm alone you know <laughs> so I think Grania is absolutely terrified in that moment and um yeah she doesn't want to be caught you know I think she kind of pretends that she is a vampire that's like her way of <laughs> being like okay this is what I have to do to survive okay yeah I, th- I think one of my favorite comedic moments was when like your relief when the- they initially sent you off and you're like <sighs> and then you have to turn around and come back in yeah <laughs> he's like oh no and then he's like no come back and I'm like oh. <laughs> please no <laughs> yeah please no what was it like filming in that mansion Oh my gosh, that mansion was so beautiful. Like I, I've never, I've, I'm from here, but I've never seen it before. Okay. But looking at it from outside, it's just absolutely huge. Um, and we didn't really get to go too much into it, but it was really cool filming there, you know? Um, actually should look into the history of that mansion because I actually have it. But um, yeah, it was beautiful. Now, I'd also love to ask, what, what does it mean for you um, being in a, in a film that's in the Welcome to Blumhouse uh, series, I, I think it would be called? I think it's an honor. Um, I've always really liked Blumhouse movies, you know, Get Out, The Purge, so many. And um, I wish I got to meet um, Jason Blum, but I didn't. But it would be really cool to one day meet him. Um, yeah. Okay, this is just kind of a fun one. Uh, there's a throwaway line at the end that um, Shauna says that you taught her goat yoga. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. When we had the table read, I don't even remember if I remember that. I, I was watching the movie and I was like, it's like, wait, what? But <laughs> I'm definitely going to look into that and see what that is because I honestly have no idea. I don't okay. know if it involves actual goats or if it's symbolic I have no idea yeah I guess I could have googled it too but yeah I had I, I was yeah, maybe I that's more of a more of a writer's <laughs> question I was like what <laughs> this girl <laughs> all right <laughs> now, I, I think that's my time or almost close to my time but I'll just end it here so Abby Gail I <laughs> I said that really weird <laughs> oh fine it's confusing it's at first name Abby last name Gail a lot of people say Abigail Abby, Gail, for Black as Night, thank you so much for chatting with me on the Film Crazy Show. Thank you. So nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you and enjoy the rest of your interviews.